Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alan Paul here with your World's One playthrough. This may turn out to be one of our last episodes for this, and I'm hoping everything records properly. I'm using a different medium to record with. I've been having trouble with uh, certain recording mediums and, like, either the video or the audio getting messed up, so I'm hoping this works out because there is no coming back to this. So, yeah, there's that. So hopefully this works out. If not, we'll have to just refer you to one of my other episodes where we got to this point and, uh, you know, <clears throat> go back a little ways to uh, another earlier time. So right now I'm standing in the anomaly. I have my ship ready to go. We're doing in the log. Got to go to the right menu. We're going to be doing the purge. So we just got done speaking to uh, Nada and Polo about this. So uh, we are pretty much ready to go. So this is it. Even though we're going to be tracking the black holes, I'm not really worried about that. We're just going to do the perch. Okay? So this is it. This is probably going to be the end. One thing I want to show you real quick is I know I picked up a broken ship on the last episode. Uh, that would be this one right here. And if we check it out real quick, you'll see I've made some changes to it. I went ahead and I fixed some of the things on the ship to make it um, space worthy. I'm going to use this ship to go through the center of the galaxy. So... If we get that far. I don't think we're going to get that far, but there we are. So I'm going to go back to my other ship for now, and hopefully I'll have a chance to change it out. Okay. And the second thing I'm going to do is I currently am using this multi-tool. Um, I never actually ever got a better multi-tool. I kind of did and kind of didn't, if you will. Um, so, yeah. I mean, these are the two multi-tools I have right now. And the multi-tool over here is a pretty decent multi-tool, but it never really uh, got repaired or anything like that. So I'll be switching over to this as well as a backup multi-tool for now. And uh, we'll worry about getting a different one at another time if I decide to keep it saved. Okay, so there we are. That's where we're standing, and we're going to go from there. All right, let's get going and get started. So hopefully everything sounds okay. <clears throat> this software I'm using is older software, and I haven't updated it in a long time, but it I did a test run with it, and it seems to be working okay. All right, here we go. Okay, we're away from the anomaly and on our way. <clears throat> so we got a message. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it to purge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. So we get three choices. Seek the final interface, complete the Atlas path, or explore the galaxy. Interesting. Hard to make that decision. I think we need to complete it. So let's complete the Atlas path. Path. Continue on. So I never. Ha I don't remember it ever giving me that choice before. I'm gonna have to check my previous videos, but that's new to me. So let's go ahead and com continue on. I guess. And Galactic Core is where we need to go. Now we got. We have a pretty decent run on this, and we're not gonna jump too many, too many times. Uh, let's see. How far can we go? I don't know. Out of jump range. Okay, that's actually pretty far. Let's go. So we knew about 1,200 light years, give or take. The thing is, is that with the purge, we have to do... I want to say it's 16 jumps to get all the glyphs. And only then will it allow me to go further. Now this storyline, the way it works too, is that we're going to have some interaction with uh, with Null and with not Artemis. Um, yeah, brain just left me right there. Sorry about that. Well, first contact system, go figure, right? And we should get there. It is data injection source unknown. This is one of the glyphs we're going to get. There it is, one of sixteen. So we do our next one. I thought we had a glyph already, but I guess not. So we just continue on. Let's just keep going straight. This will work fine. So we'll never communicate with Artemis. Ar if Artemis was present in the in the center of the uh, anomaly, we would be communicating with them on occasion. But um, no, not in this case. So it's just going to be the other two.
here we go this should be number two so as you get your data injection let's wait and we're going to get the alert there it is so now we have our second glyph and that wacky music comes on every single time Let me do something real quick. I think the audio for the game is just a touch loud. There we go. That should be a little better. I think it was just a little bit too loud. All right. Let's go on to the third one. And we're just going to keep doing this. Um, and this is how the storyline goes. But like I said, as, as much as it seems boring at first, pay attention to the communication you get. I'm going to go at least a thousand light years at a jump. We're not going to get out there. We're not going to get to the center. But at some point, we may switch out. And if it's going to get to the point where everything comes to an end, I'm going to go ahead and pull on my other ship. And we'll go from there. If we can. If we can, that is. If not, we're going to have a lot of repairs to do. Oh, we have communication. There we go, Apollo. Yes, that's who I was forgetting. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation? Everything's not real? It, it feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes... I'll bet we have years before we die. Ask what they plan to do. I've been thinking about a lot about it. How we couldn't meet even though we seemed to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be, be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. Say goodbye. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will, ra will race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we did not know each other for very long. Though we did not meet, they say that they are proud to have worked with me. <laughs> goodbye, friend. And there's our new next glyph. So it's kind of a sad, you know, see you later type thing, right? Crazy, isn't it? Poignant. Poignant is a good word. That looks good. Now at the recording of this, I'm also working on a head cold, so I'm trying to uh, not sniffle and cough into the microphone, so I apologize. Just waiting for the data injection. Strange. Why is it taking so long? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I just learned something new. You have to wait for the data injection to go completely or else you don't get it at the next system. Interesting. So we're not getting it here. All right. So, lesson learned. Wait until it completes its cycle and then you can get the data injection. You notice that all the groups, that the stars are grouped together and that there's a blank area in between certain regions of space like that. So they kind of kept that to, uh, I guess, what we know of the universe, which is pretty interesting. Okay. What milestone is that? Uh, warp 30 times, huh? Yeah. 
Oh, we're in an outlaw system to boot. And there we go. So we got our fourth one now. Now we can leave. I'll choose that one. Yeah, you're still going to hear the occasional sniffle in the background there. Sorry, guys. One of those situations where I really, really wanted to finish out the recordings for this. Because I know that we're coming to the end of Worlds 1. And Worlds 2 will be coming out soon, so... Okay. There will be another communication at some point. We're going to be talking to Null, but I guess it won't be in this system. See, there's our fifth one. Okay. At some point, we're going to have a pirate battle. I know we are, but it is what it is. What I may try to do... Just thinking, I was doing this in the expedition. I may try to find a red star. We can avoid. Yeah, let's do that. I'm curious. We can avoid pirate battles then. At least I think we can. <laughs> There we go. Let it complete its cycle. There we go. Alright, now we can go on. Looks like there's a planet right there. There we go. On to our next one. Now, in-game this jump literally will take a couple of minutes. Real time for us, it takes a little bit longer because we have to go through the whole process. It's actually a pretty cool looking planet. Super critical. There's number seven. Here we go. I think it's on this one that we get, uh, no, if I'm not mistaken. We get about to the halfway point. See? You are not alone. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. Insist you are going. I'm going to say I'm real, but why? You know, why bother, right? No, you can't do this to us. You can't. The center. The center of each galaxy. It's the atlas. It's all else just interfaces. It's all else a shadow of its might. You, you don't deserve it. You, you, you'll wipe us all to save... Ask how they know. I, I did what I had to do. I told you that couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. Stoop. I did what I had to do, but the Atlas, it won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. It, it, ask what Null did. 
I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me, wipe me. All those souls, they have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life. They sustained me. They... It can't all have been for nothing. It, I was going to see it all. I'm going to condemn him. Because frankly, I can end the communication to say goodbye. But, you know, frankly, you killed a whole bunch of people just so you could live longer. I tell Null that they are despicable. As Null cries, as they try to justify their crimes, I end the communication. There's nothing left but the path towards the center. That's what he did. He took everybody else's lives in order to sustain his own. So, very bad. <laughs> Let's move on. Usually I just end the communication or say goodbye or something like that, but... We should get through all 16 glyphs before the end comes. Pretty sure I said that already, but just wanted to make sure it was clear. And remember, if you just jump again, it won't work. You have to wait. Get the purple text. Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. There's our ninth glyph. These glyphs are very important. This is what gets us through portals to other places in the galaxy when we wish. You know what? We haven't been through a black hole yet. How about we do that? There's one over there. Is it reachable by me? Oh, it is. Yeah, let's go through this one. I used to pick Viking systems in order to uh, create my own bases in, but I find that the Corvex systems are a little bit better attuned to me. Personally, uh, it's not so much the race, it's what is available in those systems. It's being able to go for Atlantid multi-tools and stuff like that whenever you wish. Let's wait for the injection. There we go. And now we're going to take the, the black hole here. Used to be back in the day when you took a black hole, it would damage your ship. Let's see what happens here. I don't think it does it anymore. I'm pretty sure it doesn't anymore. It hasn't in quite some time. Let's see how many light years we traveled. Obviously discovered by the same person. Traveled 400,000 light years. That is fantastic. Not necessarily straight to the center. But we got another sequence. That's good. How's our charges doing? Not quite there yet. I want to at least expend it first before we have to recharge. <laughs> All right. Yeah, see, we're 696 light years from the center again. So I think it took us the wrong way. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I went a little too far. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. I went a little way too much further than I needed to be. Hi there. That'll work. On our way. There we go. Let's get our 11th glyph here. There we go. There's number 11. Five more jumps. Now 
networks. Love the look of this ship. Cables around it are pretty cool. Yeah, this may be a save I actually keep. It should be 12, right? Oop, wrong one. I don't have to do that anymore. There it is, 12th glyph. Okay, let's go on. And if the question comes up, do I have to go to the center? No, you don't have to go to the center. You can go in any direction you want. As long as you get 16 jumps in. Okay, just wait for the injection real quick. There we go. Got more data. Okay. On we go. Should be good. How far out? A thousand light years. Perfect. Must be 40 warps, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Come on. There we go. It's 14. I don't know if we have any hyperdrive juice left. Let's find out in a second here. Wow. Talk about being aware of it. There we go. Been playing this too long, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Looks like perfect. Just out of jump range. Yeah, how about you? You just a little bit out. There we go. All these regions and stuff like that, it's really amazing. It's 15, I think. There it is, 15. We should have one more jump ahead of us. Okay, We're, here we go. I don't think we have to jump as far. Let's just go ahead and go. On our way. Now, what should happen is we'll get number 16, and then we should get a communication. Usually within one, one or two more jumps. It is number 16. So we have all of our glyphs now. There it is. Locate and enter the final portal. And there it is. So before I enter the final portal, I will switch out everything. Now my exosuit is going to get damaged. I don't think there's any choice in the matter on that one. I will try to pull some stuff out. So that's just a little trick, guys. Um, for all of you. Wow, this is an actually cool looking planet.
Okay, so we're looking for a portal. Ah, found it. Goes the right direction. All right, shall we? Let's go ahead and get ourselves prepared. So we want to pull in a different ship, right? So this is the ship we're going to pull in. There we go. Second thing we're going to do is when we look at our exosuit, um, I know this is really weird, guys, but um, trust me when I tell you, you want to do this. Uh, check our inventory spot. Pull as much out of your ship as possible. Alright. everything over just a little too far, but that's okay. Don't charge it yet. There we go. That should be everything up there. Our multi-tool, we just need to switch it out. Trust me, you want to do this? Okay, we're all set. And we should have the... Everything we need to charge up this portal. Because we're going to have to set it up. So I'm going to get it set up in my pattern that I like to do. We have no copper on us. Well, crud. All right, let's get the rest of it charged up. We'll have to go, go get some copper. Or another metal. Whatever metal we have on this planet. I'll use oxygen here. Or condensed carbon or whatever I feel like using. Or carbon. Why not? Let's just use whatever we want. <laughs> okay, what kind of metals do we have around us? Apparently it's ammonia and magnetized ferrite. Cadmium. That's what we have here, huh? It is a red system after all. So let's go for this one, I think. Where is it? That one. And we're going to take our ship there. Let's switch multi-tools real quick, just for the moment. There we go. Oh, of course there's a toxic storm coming. I left all my copper and metals back at the uh, base. Oh, double up. We won't need much. Great. I literally landed just in the wrong spot. We'll take that one. I'm grabbing, grabbing extra in case I need it. For a later date. Ouch. <laughs> Here we go. Bring it in. There 
There we go. Okay, I think we're all set now. Now, as a precaution, what I'm going to do... Everything's all set there, right? It's all ready to go. Fully charged. i got a restore point just in case. 16, 16, 16. Acolytes protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. Activate it. Now, it's not asking for a portal uh, address. It's sending us where we need to go. There we go. And we're off. I'll do the jump. Don't worry. There we go. I honestly don't quite remember where we end up. I think we end up at the Atlas. I don't think we end up in space. I'm pretty sure about that. Let's find out. Okay, we're on another planet. And you'll notice our ship isn't here, right? So when I say, where's my ship? We don't have any ship. Oh, wow. Okay, just anomalous animals. Countdown should begin. Breach, breach, breach. Warning, anomalous signal detected. Cool. Ooh, what are you? 15. 14. 13. Grab things while I can. This is it. And we've done it. That is it. It's time to get rid of the Atlas. The Atlas is silent. It watches me. I'm going to cry out. I cry out, but still the Atlas is silent. Cry out again. Cry out thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen. Or of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an end to their loneliness. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived. What choices they made, the path that led them to this end. I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make a final choice. <laughs> cry out. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler, stand your ground. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know when I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, and I just performed a reset at someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation. To know who the travelers truly are, and then, a thousand galaxies will be gone, and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Ask if there's another way. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There is no other way. The Atlas requires my choice. While it lives, it still can still create. It res the resets will not stop that. I do not know what to do 
for what it wants me to do. I'm going to reset. I have to know what happens. So the Atlas is now gone. New beginnings and a new galaxy await. So you have a choice between galaxies up here, guys. You have the red one. So if we check it. Raging galaxy. So everything's harder, harsher. A lot more uh, sentinel planets that are uh, aggressive, if you will. You have green. Serene galaxy. It's a lot calmer. Okay. Blue. Silent galaxy. Less resources and quieter. It's hard to get through everything over here. Okay. And then the last one. Parallel galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. Okay? So, this is a parallel. This is exactly like the galaxy I came from. It's basically what this is. I'm going to go with the Serene one, because I always prefer to go to the uh, to this galaxy over here. This is my preference, because I find a lot more wonderful planets to go to. So, I'm going to go with this choice this time. Okay? So, here we go. We're going to reset the simulation, guys. Here we go. I'll let you enjoy the sequence. And there we go. So now as we come in on our new galaxy, we're in the Eisentum galaxy. As I expected. So, basically, if you're playing it through the full playthrough, this is literally the ending sequence. However, there are other missions you can do um, to get a star seed and all kinds of other stuff that you can do after this. So there's many missions after this that get you things that you need in order to progress. And it really kind of solidifies your character and be, makes it a uh, force to be reckoned with, if you will. Most everybody has gotten to this point and proceeded through all the little things. And some people find it a little hard to face the Sentinels after this, and some don't. So, here we go. This looks familiar, does it not? <laughs> Same sequence. Oh, wow. Well, look at this planet, huh? Oh, tell me this is a paradise planet, please. No, toxicity is really high. <laughs> oh, well. It's a shame. Looks nice, but it means it does have storms.
And we're back. Now you notice your radar is shot. You don't have anything. Incoming message. We need to create a remembrance, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hop into this cave for just a second, if this is a cave. A little further in. There we go. We're, we're safe now. Take a look, and you'll notice that our exosuit is okay. Our starship is completely damaged, of course, as you can see, uh, even though it's farther away, and so is your multi-tool. So that was the whole reason for switching out your multi-tool. So go ahead and switch back to your other one, and you see everything comes back. Um, let's go ahead and install everything in our exosuit. We'll get this going again. I'm just going to put it there. Your main components usually are not damaged, so you don't have to worry about that. There we go. The only thing you have to worry about is recharging everything in your inventory. See, I picked that up because it's a, it's a, it's a base building thing. Okay, good deal. You notice we I kept kept my repair kits from one of my ships, so that way even if I don't have wiring looms, I can still repair things if I need to. Let's go ahead and charge these things up. I don't think we really need that too much, but we will need those at some point. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything charged up because I can. There we go. Let's charge up our life support. All right, everything's charged up here. We're good to go. All right. And multi-tool, all set. Good. We just got to repair our ship and find it. Let's go ahead and do that. And you see my jetpack is now back to normal. And there's my ship. Let's go ahead and head towards it, shall we? It's a good looking planet. I do like it. But the toxicity is going to kill you. <laughs> Sodium over there. And there it is. So I could repair the ship if I wish. But while I'm here, this is reminiscent of how you start. And we're going to go and hit this. And you notice it's the same exact wording. Iteration 2311-87661-T, deleted, boundary separation failure likely. Vessel emptied, caused sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment period. Prepared. <laughs> We're going to broadcast again this time. Broadcast received, travel anom anomaly detected. Anomalies compliant, position log, system integrity scan initialized. And there we go. There we go. That should do it. Pick up some resources, of course, as usual. We're going to start just like we did before. We're just about coming to the end of our episode, but I wanted to show you everything that we could get done. There we go. Let's go ahead and carve down into the ground here and get our buried technology that's free for the taking. There we go. And we are set and done with this. So our ship is damaged, like I said. And we are going to we are gonna um, sell it at some point. But let me go ahead and pull in my other ship. There it is. And now we have a working ship. So nothing to repair at this time. And there we go. We're all back to normal. So that should do it, folks. I say we go to the space station and call it done from there. Very interesting looking planet, though, wouldn't you say? Oh, we have communication. Let's see what the communication says. Is that... 
Well, what do you know? Oh, it's someone wanting help. Oh, through the transmissions infused with static, it's alien speech garbled. One only, one thing is unmistakable: the life form is in dis great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. So what that is, that's the uh, uh, settlement. So you can do your settlement mission from here. It resets it automatically. So I'm not too worried about that. Again, I'm probably not going to be doing it. Uh, let's check out some worlds here just to see what we got. Get away from the planet a little ways. Paradise planet already. Look at that. And what about this one? Viridescent, which is also near Paradise. It might be a little bit more aggressive. That looks like it might be cold. Or... That's abandoned. Okay, abandoned planet. And there's this one that we just came from. And I think that's it. Oh, that one has some moons. Well, what do you know? I see one of the moons right there. Isotopic. Good. And it's got another one beyond it. I think that's a beautiful place to uh, end up. Let's go to the space station first. We're going to end up at that planet. We'll extend this just a few more minutes and see what we end up with. Because I would love to find out something more about that system. It's the beauty of uh, the Isentum galaxies that you're more often going to find a paradise planet. I do wish the space station were closer to the Paradise Planet, but that that's not always necessary. I'm curious as to whether they're going to find something. Okay. Alright, in we go. This gives us a settlement point in the system. Extamina Sphere. Let's get out real quick for a save point. Uh, it is advanced. This is a three-star system. Excellent. They are at war, so conflict level is high here. So we have more, we're more apt to get not only those cargo scans, but be attacked by pirates. Just as a heads up. Okay, how far out is our planet? Really far out. But... I'm looking at it from here, and I'm like, man, it's got some nice blue water. This might be a nice planet. We know of at least one moon surrounding the planet. Supposedly it has a second one on the other side. Once we get closer, we'll go around the planet. Ooh, just changed. As you get closer, sometimes more, more stuff... It's defined about a planet. Big ocean, it looks like. Once we get about into 300, we'll go ahead and stop and go around. There we go. That's good. Okay. So I'm seeing some landmass, I think, towards the bottom. Otherwise, it looks like it's mostly water. Ah, there it is. Okay. There's the land. I want to see what this other world is over here, this other moon. We'll get past the planet and see if we can find it. It's just down there. Okay, let's take another look. Just go a little further. That should be good. Tainted. Okay. So we got some interesting places over here. A little further this way. And we're going to come in on the planet. I think that looks like a lovely spot. Let's head for it. Alright, so no floating islands. Just have these weird land masses that stick up off the ground, and that's okay. Uh, I don't see any green grass, but we also don't see anything on tour. But look at the blue water and the blue sky, and uh, that's very pretty. That's very pretty. Uh, looks like something we can land at over there. This might be a little campsite or a shelter or something like that. So, 
All right, so looks like a beacon. Grass still looks brown, but I found sometimes when you get out, it changes. No, brown grass. And we do have a sentinel already popping up, but they seem to be isolated. Okay, good. Oh, that is some lovely water, though, wouldn't you say? Look at that. Yep, very nice. Very nice. Good place for maybe a first setup base here for the Eisentum Galaxy. I think I might do that. So this, uh, and I'm loving the ship I've got. I like what I've got going on here with my character and everything like that. So I think there's a possibility that we might make this into a new main save. I know I keep saying that. I haven't yet decided. We shall see. But whenever I do a playthrough, I always uh, think about whether we're going to do that or not. So, all right, guys, let's get a save point. There we go. And we are going to call it here. I want to thank you all for watching this whole playthrough series. Um, the Just to get into the menu here real quick, into the log, you now have uh, to install the Remembrance that continues on and gives you the ability to gather uh, items and stuff like that so that you can... Uh, have something installed that allows you into cer certain rooms inside the bases and stuff like that and acquire extra information in regards to the play, uh, the background story, if you will. So there's that. Uh, you'll notice that the main missions now are just the space anomaly, visiting there, going the Atlas path, and you can do a secondary series of playthroughs on this. I will probably do this in the Worlds 2 update, and we'll go ahead and go forward in there. Um, and then the last one is New Beginnings. It's obviously just, just telling you the universe is yours. Knock yourself out. Have a good time. That's pretty much it. And then finally, you've just got these secondary missions of exploring things on each planet, uh, the base computer archives again, doing this, the settlement if you wish. I've got that in my 101 play, playlist. And then, obviously, like I said, this here too. And you can unpin it. You can take care of that and get rid of it if you don't feel like doing it. So, again, it's a secondary mission. You don't have to do it. Feel free to have fun. That's the whole point behind this, right, guys? And I hope you've enjoyed this whole playthrough. If you have, please drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing. We're probably going to take a break from playthroughs for the time being, and I probably will pick them up. It's November. It's uh, You're probably seeing this towards the end of November, first week of December. Uh, it's going to take a little break until Worlds 2 comes out, and then we're going to come out with playthroughs after that. So I'll be taking a little break from my Wednesday morning videos at this point. I might come out with a little excerpts or little uh, members-only videos or something like that, and that'll be about it for now. Just going to give myself a little break while we're doing all the Redux missions. So you'll be seeing some Redux missions popping up in my plays. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. We will see you again in the next series. Take care. Thank you very much.